Hello everyone, my name is Siddharth and I will be speaking about our article on high efficiency grading coupler in 400 nanometer and 500 nanometer PCVD silicon nitride with bottom reflector. This work along with my colleagues was done at the Photonics Research Laboratory under Professor Shankar Kumar Salvaraja at the Center for Nanoscience and Engineering at Indian Institute of Science. So to give you a brief overview of the presentation, I will first speak about the fiber chip coupling problem, then speak about why are we interested in silicon nitride, and then talk about the 500 nanometer thick silicon nitride, and then talk about the 400 nanometer thick silicon nitride, and then talk about the experimental characterization, and finally the summary. So uh, to tell a few things about the fiber chip coupling problem, uh, you have the optical fiber uh, that is quite uh, huge in comparison to the silicon photonic chip, which can be either silicon or silicon nitride. And uh, this uh, means that there is a huge mismatch in the fiber Gaussian mode and the waveguide mode. And to address this mismatch, uh, we have uh, uh, one way is to uh, use uh, inverse taper spot size converters. Uh, but these are complex to fabricate and uh, have a low alignment tolerance. So for that reason, uh, there's another approach that is using surface gratings, which are much easier to fabricate and uh, are, have a much uh, better alignment tolerance. Uh, now I'll speak about uh, why are we interested in silicon nitride. So there are a couple of reasons. Uh, it has a wide band transparency window from visible to mid IR. Uh, it is also compatible with uh, CMOS processing it is ideal for nonlinear ap optical applications, given that silicon nitride is uh, devoid of two photon absorption. Uh, it has a low thermal optic coefficient, which means that devices are less sensitive to thermal fluctuations. Also, the moderate index contrast means that the device performance is less prone to fabrication in perfections. Uh, so, uh, Silicon nitride can be deposited using uh, two processes, that is low pressure chemical vapor deposition and uh, plasma chemical vapor deposition. Uh, so LPCVD, uh, which is low pressure chemical vapor deposition, uh, gives, low, uh, gives a good uh, quality um, of films at low propagation loss. However, it requires a high deposition temperatures and it has been a, a challenge to, uh, to deposit uh, thick films, uh, which are crack free. Uh, plasma enhanced CVT on the other hand, uh, requires low deposition temperature and you can deposit uh, thick films. Uh, however, uh, it does have uh, losses due to the uh, silicon edge and the nitrogen edge tangling bonds. Uh, so for this reason, uh, most, uh, Previous grating couplers were demonstrated using the LPCVD processes on silicon nitride. Uh, in this work, we demonstrate high efficiency grating couplers uh, using PCVD process for two different platforms, that is 500 nanometer thick and 400 nanometer thick. So first I will talk about our design on 500 nanometer thick silicon nitride. Uh, we design a standard uniform grating coupler with 52% coupling efficiency. So, uh, one of the reasons why the coupling is less is uh, because of substrate leakage, uh, which is substantial. So one way to address the substrate leakage is by adding a two layer distributed Bragg reflector. And we see that the efficiency is enhanced uh, to over 73%. So here you can see that uh, there is a substantial improvement in the coupling efficiency uh, when we add a two layer Bragg reflector. So a similar thing is done for the 400 nanometer thick silicon nitride in uh, silicon dioxide cladding. And here you can see that uh, uh, in the case of uh, no Bragg reflector, the efficiency is less than 50%. And when we add a, a, a two layer Bragg reflector, the efficiency is enhanced to over 75%. So next I will talk about the device uh, fabrication. Uh, so we take a bare silicon uh, wafer and uh, deposit the two layer DBR stack, uh, and then deposit the uh, silicon dioxide uh, box layer corresponding to whichever design that we want. Then deposit the silicon nitride uh, according to the thickness that we want, and uh, then do an electron beam lithography. 
So for the 500 nanometer thick silicon nitride, we do a partial etching. For the 400 nanometer thick silicon nitride, we do a full etching, which is then followed by a two micron top layer uh, silicon dioxide deposition. So these are some of the scanning electron microscope images of the fabricated devices. So here you can see the top view. Uh, and here you can see the devices at a different angle. So this is the side view cross section of the gratings uh, along with the DBR stack. So uh, we were able to uh, measure the devices and uh, uh, we got about 2.29 dB per coupler for the 500 nanometer thick uh, silicon nitride. And uh, for the 400 nanometer thick silicon nitride, we got about uh, 2.58 dB to 3 dB per coupler. And uh, so the bandwidth in either of these designs was uh, 50 nanometers. So uh, finally, uh, you can see that um, uh, the coupling performance uh, of our devices is comparable to uh, what had been previously demonstrated using uh, LPCUD based processes. So finally, uh, to summarize, we have demonstrated uh, fiber chip couplers for uh, different silicon nitride platforms using low temperature plasma enhanced CVD process. So for the 500 nanometer thick silicon nitride, we demonstrate a peak efficiency of uh, 2.29 dB per coupler. And for the 400 nanometer thick silicon nitride, we demonstrate a peak efficiency of 2.58 dB per coupler. Further improvement in the coupling performance uh, can be expected uh, by implementing apodization. Thank you for your attention.